Okay, guys. Um, are you ready for a uh, summer classes? Summer class? Summertime school. I don't know how to say this. Are you ready for a summer semester TBR? Because I am. Um, I love the beginning of semester when you get all the books you're going to read and you're like, yes, so many good books to read and you have an excuse to order a lot more books. I already own a lot of books that I haven't read yet, so I don't usually buy new books just or randomly because I already have so many good ones I need to get through. But when I get a book for a gift or when I have a class list and I have to buy new books, it is a thrill and a joy. So that has recently happened. I got, I always email my profs ahead and I'm like, hey, what books are we reading? So that I can be on top of my game. And because I'm really excited about it. So I have most of my books for my next semester. There's one that hasn't come in yet. And then for my children's lit class, there are some picture books um, that I don't know what they are yet. Um, but the first book we have is called The Luck of Ginger Coffee by Brian Moore. And this book, like this edition with these like stripes, I recognize them a lot. I don't think I have any more here. But I took a Canadian literature class a few years ago and almost all the books were this style, this edition. And so I thought this was a Canadian lit book when I saw it. But um, I've started reading this one already actually because semester is approaching. Um, and these are Irish people who have moved to Canada, is what the story is about. The next book on my reading list is No Country for Young Men by Julia O'Fallon. Um, the rest of these books I know nothing about because I, I haven't started reading them yet. And I never read summaries before I read a book. I like to go in completely blind. So I have no information to give you on these books other than the titles. Um, also, this book came with a bookmark in the mail. Love that. Um, and this one I got secondhand for Amazon. You can tell it's used, but still totally usable. I'm going to do this more in the future, I think, for school books. Buy them secondhand from Amazon instead of buying them new. It's cheaper and reduce use recycle, you know. Alright, the next one is called The House of Splendid Isolation by Edna O'Brien. Um, this one was also secondhand, and it's an old library book. It has like that library plastic covering on it. It smells like a library, and it has all the stamps inside. Love that. It was first taken out June 6th, 1995. That's so cute. And this is from Flossmore Public Library in Flossmore, Illinois. That's dope. Uh, but yes, The Dead School by Patrick McCabe. Next one is That They May Face the Rising Sun by John McGarren. And oh, that title sounds really good. It sounds It's a powerful title. It makes me think of um, Ernest Hemingway. Does he have something about the rising sun? I don't know, but that name popped into my head when I read that title. That They May Face the Rising Sun, John McGarren. Um, Love and Summer by William Trevor. I hope it's a really cute love story and not sad. Oh. It is a book to be read and reread, as perfect a thing as our blemished world can offer. Cute. I hope it's just a really cute, happy love story. That'd be such a great thing to read this summer. Oh, and it won, or I guess is called the Globe and Mail Best Book, and long listed for the Man Booker Prize. Dope. Um, and this one is called Young Skins, Stories by Colin Barrett. It was, oh, winner for something. Winner for Frank O'Connor International Short Story, um, Guardian First Book Award, and Rooney Prize for Irish Literature. Oh, and this is a story. This is a bunch of different short stories, I think, is what I am getting. Yeah, a bunch of different short stories by Colin Barrett. Um, and there's one book that is not in... This list, it is called, hold on, Eclipse. <laughs> it's called Eclipse. And it is by, I don't know, let me check my title. John Banville. 
Okay, so that's all for my Irish literature class. Irish literature class. Um, next, I'm taking a children's children's lit class, which I'm really excited about. Um, I think it'll just be fun, really chill books to read over the summer. The first one, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Um, I this is a, will be a reread. Well, I, I read it once in high school. I didn't read Harry Potter till high school. Crazy, but I've well, I actually. I read this book this week already, like for the class, so not really TBR, I read them all the way, all the way. There's one more that I've heard of, and that is um, Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Ooh. Yeah, this, I'm pretty sure the movie Coraline is probably based off of this book. I didn't check, but I'm assuming. I'm excited. It's just short. Oh, there's pictures. I love other things. Oh, that one. Um, this next two I have not heard of. There is Breadcrumbs by Anne Ursu. Ursu, Ursu I'm assuming. Ursu, Ursu. It looks pretty magical. Is this a movie? The front cover is a cartoon. It actually thinks that it's been made into a cartoon movie. Um, the back said it's a modern. Oh, it's based after The Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen. That's cool. I read that. And, oh yeah, modern day fairy tale. Interesting. Interesting. Last novel for that class that I have is called The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Also been made into a movie, the cover tells me. Never heard of it. The corner it says Thug, which is great. And it's like, it's pretty chunky, but it says 400 pages, but also I think it's like size 13 font and has some nice thick margins, so I don't think I'll take too long to read. So yeah, this is what I will be reading oh, this summer. Let me hold them all up for you so you can see them together because the pile is pretty thick. Oh, I just kicked the tripod on my bed. This plus one. Bye.